First Cafeteria was a chain of family restaurants that opened in 1946 and closed in 2021. Thank you for your suggestion. By popular demand, Fur's Short Time $3.99 continues. The $3.99 all-you-can-eat, that is, of everything we've got. Like all your favorite entrees, vegetables, salads, and desserts. All you can eat for just $3.99 at lunch, $4.99 at dinner, and all day Saturday. But don't wait too long to dine. Our special price ends February 29. That's why we call this all-you-can-eat the Short Time $3.99. Only at Fur's Cafeterias. Because it's here today and gone... In 1946, brothers Roy and Key Fur founded the first Furs restaurant, which opened in Hobbs in southeastern New Mexico. The connection of the Furs name to cafeterias dates to 1947 when forward thinking Texas supermarket magnate. Roy Fur began to combine dining with one of his grocery stores, a combination that was years ahead of its time. Fur's first cafeteria, which was actually his second restaurant, was built next door to one of his Odessa, Texas grocery stores, opening in March of 1947. The venture was successful, but the site only offered enough parking space for 25 cars. Fur decided to sell both businesses, but elected to only rebuild the supermarket. One of his employees, a baker named Cliff Andrews, boasted that if Fur would build a super cafeteria and let him manage it, it could run circles around your supermarket. Fur agreed, and in April of 1956, a Fur's cafeteria doubled the size of the original and offering five acres of parking opened under Andrew's management. The operation proved so successful that Fur opened a second cafeteria in April of 1956 and four more units by May of 1959. The burgeoning chain to this point had been operating under Fur's supermarkets. In June of 1959, the business was spun off into a separate corporation christened Fur's Cafeterias, Inc. Roy Fur's son, Don Fur, who had been acting as director of the operation, was named president, and Andrews was named vice president. Furs cafeterias grew steadily, numbering 11 units by the end of 1962. To be certain of a consistent quality of food throughout the chain, the company in 1968 acquired the Lubbock-based Plains Meat Company, which it renamed Quality Control Kitchens, supplying meats, cooked foods, and bakery items to Furs Cafeterias. This operation would ultimately become the Dynamic Food subsidiary. On November 12, 1969, Furs Cafeteria went public. Aside from cafeterias, the company also opened a pie shop in Lubbock in 1969 and another in Odessa in 1971. By the time of Roy Fur's death in 1975, Fur's cafeterias owned and operated 57 units located in seven states. The Fur family business empire of restaurants, supermarkets, convenience stores, grocery warehouses, and realty company did not fare well during Roy Fur Jr.'s tenure. By 1979, the company was forced to file for bankruptcy. Burr's Cafeteria was purchased for $70 million by Kmart Corporation in May of 1980. For Kmart, the move into the restaurant business was part of an aggressive diversification and expansion plan that included the acquisitions of Builder Square, Walden Books, and Payless Drug Stores. Kmart hoped to complement its department stores with the addition of Furs Cafeterias on the same pad. In 1983, Kmart added a regional buffet chain when it paid $28 million for Iowa-based Bishop Buffets. 
Kmart opened new units under both the Furs and Bishop names, but essentially allowed them to operate independently. By November of 1986, however, Kmart, saddled with debt from its diversification efforts, was looking to focus on its core retailing business and decided to unload its restaurant assets, which had grown to 133 Furs cafeterias, spread from Texas to California, and 35 Bishop Buffets, located in the Midwest. In January of 1988, Kmart completed the sale of Furs Cafeterias and Bishop Buffets to investor Michael Levinson's Cavalcade Holdings of Lubbock, Texas for $237 million in a leveraged buyout. Levinson brought changes to the cafeteria concept. In remodeled units, the dessert and beverage sections were separated in order to avoid slowing down the entree and vegetable line. He introduced bakeries, takeout counters, and even separate rooms for children. He also launched an all-you-can-eat promotion at many of these poorer performing units to boost traffic. In the year 2000, the company established a new name, Furs Restaurant Group, in December of 2002, Furs closed its two locations in Las Vegas as part of a corporate downsizing plan to close 11 underperforming restaurants across the United States by the end of that year. In January of 2003, the company reorganized under Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Shortly afterwards, the company was sold to a private investment firm, CIC Buffet Partners. In January of 2014, FERS closed several locations including Las Cruces in New Mexico, Big Spring, Texas, Wheat Ridge, Colorado, and Wichita, Kansas. We are closed for business. It's just a corporate decision, said management. Since 2014, the company changed owners twice, and the chain continued to close restaurants. In April of 2021, FERS parent company, Fresh Acquisitions LLC, and Buffets LLC filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and all FERS were permanently closed. Thanks to heavy debt loads, cost cutting, and a consumer that had shied away from all you can eat concepts, as well as the pandemic, the situation made a perfect storm for the FERS chain to close its doors. So what are some of your favorite memories of this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. Be sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.